welcome to today's edition of Pegasus Test. On today's edition, we're covering Stage 6 of Gunfighter Gauntlet 2024, the Remagen Bridge. Alright, you started out this stage by disarming the bombs on the bridge left by the Nazis. Remember, you're trying to cross the Rhine to get into Germany here, and you've got to take out those heathen Nazis at the other end of, of the riverbank there. That arrow was pointing out the smudge of gray target I'm trying to engage. Luckily, my ACOG 1.5 TA-44 there was a help. What was hard to see with the naked eye, that little bit of magnification made a difference. You also notice I got some tape on there. I was cutting down the light coming to the fiber optic to get a more refined dot in my reticle to make a more precision shot. Leave it. I chose to abandon the last one here instead of wasting time on it because you had to make a real decision here in this stage. It was roughly equal targets, a rifle and pistol, it was very easy to get hung up on these rifle targets and then give up 12 points or 12 penalties on the pistol side. So you really had to make a decision on what your capabilities was. I had no doubt I could get all the pistol targets, so I decided to abandon that rifle target and not waste a lot of time on it for your one penalty versus six. Now I've moved up here to the second obstacle after engaging at the Jeep and disarmed the bridge on the other side of the river. Still have heathen Nazis represented by the target stones that need to be uh, dispatched, and we're working our way through that. Of uh, the five engagements here, I uh, do not uh, uh, waste time on the last two. Abandoning going I, uh, next. Take shots at them, but when I don't get the hits, I just move on because I know the arrays for the pistols over there, and I'd rather get those points. Abandoning. I didn't even bother to take the uh, bonus shot here. It wasn't required, and I was like. If it's a target that's smaller than the ones I'm already trying to engage, what's the point? It's just a waste of time. So get over here and engage these. Rush it a little there on the popper. Two, three, four. And then rush five, that one too. Six, and on the second go through, get a malfunction. Again, it's a Mag bad magazine. Mag Here's where I Mag realized out. it was yep, the magazine that was the problem. I thought the gun had been getting Top a little right dirty circle. when I had the other problems, but no, it's a magazine problem. Two. Unfortunately, this was our last stage of the match. <laughs> that third one didn't want to come, so the advice to go on and go back to it was good advice. Uh, out of ammo there. Unfortunately, all those misses, I could have got it all in one magazine, but say la You've got 40 seconds. you got five, six. If you're finished, and there we go. So clear. That was the one I jammed on. Now it's Coop's turn. And one of the things I want to apologize for is the wind noise. It was terrible here. I'll do all the can to minimize it here in the video, but uh, there's only so much that can be done. Now I had the advantage. I had a 1.5 optic. Not much magnification, but it really helped. Chris has just got a standard 1x aim point PRO here. And the targets are really hard to see. Matter of fact, just a few feet behind undercover. Uh, they were almost impossible, some of them to see, especially the one he's engaged now, the left uh, one that's in the uh, uh, grass. That was really hard to see. Um, luckily, when you got up to the prop, it got a little more visible. When you get over the Jeep, it got even more visible. And, of course, when you got up to the second prop, it even got a bit more visible. But the targets were hard to see, and I really feel for the ROs on this stage because they had a heck of a time calling out your misses to give you good corrective data. Right, just off the edge. Eh. Yeah, a little smudge in the grass right. off to the left. That's kind of the general right. area he's trying to hit with the target. Right. Not exactly eh. an easy feat. And, and moving out to the final rifle shooting position. This simulates running across the bridge. And if you haven't seen the movie Bridget Remagen, it's free on YouTube. Tune in and watch it. It's a great movie. Classic war movie in the 1960s. Okay, we've defused the C4, and now uh, Coop's turn to repel the uh, evil Nazi hordes. No call. And you can see that gray target just a little bit better here, but not really that much no better. Call. No call. Might be worth moving. Moving. Middle. Hard right. Bands go, Coop, go. 
Coop goes for the bonus by standing and launching around offhand. You gotta admire the guts for doing that shot. And then he dashes over here to the pistol section. And with not having a malfunction, actually ends up clearing this array a whole lot easier than I did. And he just went you know, almost one for one on his hits there. One, two, three, four, Fine run there. Six. Now it's on to Kevin's turn. This is our last stage of the day, so Stand Kevin's by. gotten a little bit of better uh, his, uh, feel of the rifle and stuff. And uh, he performs a little bridge, bit man. better here. Um, Great one in the thing. There you go. No call. Just right. Just right. Just over. Just one target right. Might be worth skipping. Uh, these were challenging hey, targets. Left. Luckily, he's got a 3x magnifier he can use. So, out of the three of us, he had the best opportunity to make the hits here. And uh, started with a partially loaded magazine that kind of tripped him up, but he did the reload, got it quick, and got back into the uh, action. Under. And then as he finishes up okay, there, he tells the RO he's moving on. He moves over to the Jeep here. Now at the uh, rooftop barricade, you had to sweep the five arrays down range. Here at the Jeep, you only had to hit the gray target that's a smudge in the grass on the left-hand side there. You just had to get two hits on it. And that's how you had 12 uh, rifle, and then of course the pistol array was 12 pistol. Right. Like I say, it was a balancing act. You know, how much time, and where were you confident? What, right, what did you know about your abilities? What did you think you could or could not do? You know, if you were strong on rifle and weak in pistol, it was worth taking the time here. If you didn't think your rifle or your skills were up to the challenge, then just make calculated decisions when the hits weren't coming about what penalties you wanted to take. And Kevin needs the mag there. <laughs> And gets to the other side, disarms the other end of the bridge. So U.S. forces have a bridge across the Rhine now. And uh, he repels the enemy uh, counter-assault here in the form of these steel targets. But they're gray steel, just like German helmets, so obviously they're Nazi targets. Just under. One target and under Skip to the next one. Hard right. Drop mag. Drop mag. Drop mag. Drop mag. Take the, the headshot. And then drops his mag. Takes the high Move value out. shot. Moves out over to the pistol array. Kev only gets one sweep through the array here, but you know at least he got that much, so he really minimized his penalties there. Good job, Kev. If you haven't checked out the movie The Bridget Remagrant, I highly suggest you do. As I said earlier, it's a great movie, well worth the watch, very entertaining. And we hope you enjoyed this coverage of the Bridget Remagen stage at Gunfighter Gauntlet 2024. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and tune in for more match videos. we got Stage 7 coming your way tomorrow.